You have the floor, sir. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir. Mr. Speaker, sir, I'll be uh, very brief in the interest of time. But, however, as discussed in the introduction of this particular motion earlier on today, uh, this essentially, Mr. Speaker, sir, seeks to correct the, uh, the coding numbers that were actually put in correctly uh, in when we had approved uh, this particular amendment during the budget process, sir. And this seeks to correct those particular codes as highlighted earlier on. In practical terms, uh, we have this implemented as was announced in as per the policy. However, obviously, we need to ensure that it is uh, in writing, in the law, uh, corrected, and therefore the right codes need to be put in place. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Honorable Member Bortikondodua, you have the floor, sir. Thank you, uh, Honorable Speaker. Uh, uh, Honorable Speaker, now that we're on the substantive matter, the proposal to this, uh, to the amendment bill, to the, the amendment to the value-added uh, uh, value Tax Act 1991. <clears throat> I would just like to reiterate uh, the issue that I had drawn earlier because uh, the debate had been created about uh, the motive behind the objection to Standing Order 51. Speaker, I, I take my guidance on your, uh, on your ruling earlier before we left in terms of the necessity of having to have this uh, bill uh, tabled because the, <clears throat> the schedule that was uh, given to us had some um, incorrect uh, data or figures on it. Therefore, Parliament uh, has to deal with it quickly. Now, understanding Water 51, because it's, it's necessary to have it come through Parliament, understanding Water 51 per se, because there is good reason for it. But we have been, you know, we do not object to standing order 51, you know, unnecessarily for any reason. Okay. But we do. Order. Okay, but honorable speaker. Order. Order. Okay. We are saying we have been objecting to it because it has been brings to, it brings to light, you know, the, the story of the, the shepherd calling wolf, you know. Okay? Yeah. When, when the wolf actually did come, you know, people did not react to it. Why? Because when it is supposed to be used, standing order 51 is supposed to be used, it's already been used so much, so many times before that we call it as an abuse of the parliamentary process. That is why the, the parliament was allowed to just use the process of the money bill under the standing orders that is provided for then we'd have had a great you know, opportunity to have a look at it and matters like this, you know, Parliament would not have to come back and review or the Honorable Attorney General would not have to retable, you know, uh, an amendment bill like this. So that was the, the reason for the objective understanding order, the objection understanding order 51, but... I thank the Honorable Member for his contribution to the debate. Honorable William Ngavoka, you have the floor. Yes, uh, <coughs> thank you, um, <coughs> uh, Mr. Speaker, sir. Yeah, um, Mr. Speaker, we, we are, we need to have clarification on this, on these types of corrections. Uh, the Honorable Minister has said that, um, but, um, it takes us back to the process of the position. How, how, how did it happen? How, how did it, what was the practice in other, in other parliaments? Did this thing happen uh, in the manner that we see today? He said no. It, it, it did not happen in the, in the manner that we see today. That if something goes wrong, the correction bill comes in to be of the, of the error. But it tells us the next budget, we don't have cases like this. Because, you know, it, it belittles, if, 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 if this was in a, in a if, that was, if this was in a company uh, and the directors, what, what, what do you want, Honorable Speaker, what do you ask for is this? Go through speaker is that the people are watching and, 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 uh, and, and some have lost interest in this parliament because the way Fiji First runs the affairs of this parliament. Now we must remember, order. 
that in 2014, 90,000 people did not vote, registered, did not vote, and we had thought that it would have decreased by 2018, but actually doubled, more than doubled. And one of the reasons, I know that the weather was in cells being represented in the manner that we thought. That is why we are no longer interested in the affairs of parliament. That is a danger, Honorable Speaker. It affects the way people uh, re react to the, the democratic process in this country. You, you cannot be just using standing on 51, you cannot just be using your majority to abuse parliament in this manner. Honorable Speaker, the Honorable Speaker, we really need to understand how it really should work. The evening, and you're gonna debate it on, on Friday morning, the whole bill, plus a number of consequential bills that we didn't, we didn't even have, have the time to, 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 uh, to debate on those, on those bills, Honorable Speaker. So, Honorable Speaker, we, we need to respect our people. They need to believe in this parliament. And right now, the way Fiji First is, is behaving, I would not be surprised if more people uh, will not vote because they have lost faith in this parliament. But I can tell you what. So we'll give you time to study the bills. We'll give you time to deliberate and not rush it in this manner so that you come in, come in, uh, you know, without shame and say, oh, we have a correction here. We have a correction here. Honorable Speaker, you should be ashamed of the way we run parliament, Honorable Speaker. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. All right, thank you. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Wishing to take the floor. Honourable Attorney General, you have the floor. Um, thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir. Mr. Speaker, sir, I'd like to thank Honourable Tikundu and uh, who is now supporting this particular amendment uh, in, a very in a very convoluted manner. When we first got elected, uh, the first budget, Sodelpa actually walked out of the budget. Honourable Tikundu and used to sit next to me in those days. And very jubilantly, uh, we all approved the budget. We went down to GPH. I've still got the photograph to remind us of that, where the budget was approved. And during that particular, I remember before they had, did the walkout, I had pointed out to the opposition then that previously, prior to uh, the, under the previous constitution, uh, the SD, SDL government then used to make, in the actual budget estimate figures, it was replete with mistakes. The hands I will prove that to you. And here they are today, they had nothing substantial to say about the revised budget last week. And here we are today, trying to capitalize in a such a pathetic manner on these two codes, two codes that has been mistakenly put in by FRCS. We've taken responsibility for it and saying you should be ashamed of yourself. And here we are, it's corrected, which actually affects the various products that we said will go down to 0% and that will go to 15%. It's so pathetically cheap political grandstanding going on here on two codes, simply two codes, not going back into history, not actually being honest about it and not being able to point out how many other times have mistakes been made since 2014. None. It's only numbers. Mr. Speaker, sir. And so, again, you know, we're going through this whole charade of them trying to put up the show to object to everything that we do. And here we are, Mr. Speaker, sir, trying to correct it so that ordinary Fijians, retailers, wholesalers, importers, manufacturers don't get confused by any of the coding numbers. That's all we're trying to do. So the benefits that were announced in the budget can be rolled out without any confusion. The prices have come down by 9%. You see every price tag being changed now to 9%, whichever one was applicable. So here we are just trying to correct, Mr. Speaker, sir, formally, what was actually, you know, obviously inadvertently as a mistake. It went from FRCS to us, and we take responsibility for that. To come out here and then use this to pontificate as they on some higher ground, as if no other governments in the past had made, they, made this kind of mistake, is really quite, you know, it's colorless, actually. So, Mr. Speaker, sir. The Honorable members, the parliament will now vote. The question is, pursuant to the resolution of parliament earlier today, Monday, 4 April 2022, that the value added tax amendment 
number two, Bill 2022, be debated, voted upon, and be passed. Does any member oppose the motion? No. As no member opposes, the motion is agreed to unanimously. Secretary General. Bill for an act to amend the value of the Republic of Fiji.